Hello everyone, if you've seen the title, you know this is another vinyl video from me. This will be my third vinyl video, but this time I'm going to be doing something a little different with my vinyl vines. This is not all weird crazy vinyl. There's some really cool stuff in here. So why don't I start with that. This vinyl from, I found some of this vinyl at the thrift store. I got other from my grandma and uh, bought it on my own accord. I will start right now. Well, the first one, my grandmother gave me this one. Elvis, Aloha from Hawaii. Um, I have not listened to this yet. Um, I want to, but my vinyl player is still AWOL and I just have not got around to digging through my storage unit to get it out, nor have I went to Books A Million to throw down uh, $100 for a new vinyl player. So these remain semi-untouched. And yes, I like Elvis. Um, I look forward to hearing this someday, soonish, hopefully. Okay. The next vinyl I have from my grandma also is another Elvis album. And I'm taking it this is a this is a hits album because it has, you know, a lot of his like, you know, like Don't Be Cruel and Heartbreak Hotel has a lot of that on there. But that's not the I really have trouble finding something to say about this weird compilation here because the real treat is inside. Apparently my grandma had a self-titled Elvis album in here. Now, I'll admit, I didn't do any Wikipedia research or Discogs research before making this video. So, that could be his debut album, that could be his first hit album, it could be one of his albums, whatever. I'm not sure right now, so... I got a self-titled Elvis album with this that my grandma must have forgot about. Anyways, let's move on. Can't wait to listen to that one too. Um, I bought this one at a thrift store. Um, they had it was you know maybe a couple dollars more, so I can't really classify it as a strange vinyl find. And why would I? Because it's Johnny Cash. Um, Johnny Cash. I. I, I really don't care for country, but Johnny Cash is an exception. Um, I don't know, he just more has, he just has so much storytelling to his things, and modern country to me, um, I believe there's a video out there, you know, showing that most of it sounds the same. I just can't get into modern country, but some classic country does have some good, you know, storytelling and tall tales and whatnot, and Johnny Cash is, uh, you know, I, I actually like Johnny Cash in some respects. Um, not a huge fan, but I respect him and I can listen. The next one is, um, this was in the budget bin with a lot of these strange vinyls that I put on here. But um, I wouldn't consider this a strange one at all. In fact, I've listened to this one a lot. And I love these guys a lot. And it's The Beach Boys. The best of the Beach Boys. And uh, it's got all the classics, you know, you can see on here, uh, you know, in my room, uh, Surfer Girl, um, Surfing USA. And um, this basically got me through all of my senior sculpture project here. I would throw this on and, you know, have a blast welding or, you know, painting or doing something art wise. Great. This album, you know, also the basis of my favorite band, the Ramones. Basically, this is one of their uh, bands that basically influenced them. And you can tell if you're a pop punk slash Ramones fan. Anyways. Um, the next one, I also got this for my grandma. It's another Elvis. It's Elvis's Christmas. And um, once again, you know... We just passed the season, and uh, it would have been nice to put this on for a little bit, but I uh, guess, guess I can always have Christmas in July or something, right? 
Hmm. Also, you know, another Johnny Cash, the infamous Folsom Prison album. I found this is a pretty beat up used copy. I got it with the, where I got the other one. And, um, you know, I was never, uh, I always heard this album was like really good and, um, you know, pretty much an American classic. I, I'll listen to this too. Once again, um, you know, Johnny Cash did a lot for even like the modern rock scene or I guess like what's left of it. Can't wait to listen to that if they'll even play because it's kind of dirty and beat up. Anyways, I also found this at that same area where I got the Johnny Cash albums and there's a stick and it is, let me tell you what it is first before I show you details of it. It's a Buddy Holly Lives. It's a Buddy Holly compilation. Once again, I like this classic 50s rock a lot. You know, I actually like this sort of like 50s nostalgic, you know, burger joint, malt shop, uh, basically that type of, you know, simplest, simplistic, uh, you know, bare bones rock and roll more so than I do sort of like some of the psychedelic stuff of the 60s. You know, I actually kind of while I don't like hate that stuff from the 60s, I like this a lot more. Just like basically, like I'm a Ramones fan over a Clash fan for the same reason that you know they just do a stripped down like Buddy Holly does. Um, he was basically one of their like one of the influences of pretty much all rock, pretty much, and I guess some you could say country too. Once again, I didn't wiki anything about Buddy Holly, so. I researched him before, but I forget a lot of it. So anyways, there's a sticker on here. This was bought somewhere in 1981. And, you know, it's got all the hits on it. You know, Peggy Sue, um, Oh Boy, um, That'll Be the Day. All, basically, any Buddy Holly hit you can think of. Um, I want to listen to this, too. I have, like, a CD of Buddy Holly, but vinyl would be cooler for Buddy Holly. I will admit. The next one, well this, this, okay. I found this, I don't know if you consider this strange, cool. Um, the only song I know on it is, oh, well anyways, it's Tom Jones. I only really know the What's New Pussycat song, of course, you know, from various memes on the internet and, you know, all those like weird, funny videos that have popped up over the years on, uh, you know, various websites, and, uh, I guess Tom Jones could be kind of strange, um, but, you know, there might be some cool stuff on here. He has a great voice. I know what he sounds like. I've heard, probably heard other songs of him. The Bond theme he did, I've heard that one. You know, this could be cool. I won't, uh, throw it into the laughable category, you know. Hey, I'm checking out old music here. Don't hate on it. <laughs> Anyways, this is a perfect crossroads from strange to, you know, cool. Saturday Night Fever. Well, I got this one at the same time I got that Beach Boys one. That was a great time at the thrift store then. Um, you know, what can I say? This... You, it's sort of like one of those so bad it's good type of things in a ways, you know. Don't worry, I don't hate this. I, I like, I listen to this a lot actually. I started to appreciate this, you know, a little more. Um, disco, I know it's always hated, but it's kind of like funny in like a cheesy way. Um, I don't know, it's, this soundtrack is just kind of a lot of fun to listen to. I liked annoying sort of my neighbors when I lived in a college dorm with it. Um, yeah, I don't know if to classify it as a strange or just a cool, because I'll admit this is kind of a cool find. I was like, when I found this, because I, you know, you know, staying alive. <laughs> okay, well, sorry to disappoint, but I only have three strange vinyl finds today, like bona fide strange. Um, let's just start with 
Sean Cassidy, um, born late. Um, I don't know anything about him. I've heard that, I think I wikied him once and he was a child singer or something, young, I don't know. Um, I would put it in the same category possibly as that Leaf Garrett vinyl I had a while back. You know, found this in the budget bin. You know, it is Sean Cassidy. Um, they had a bunch of them. Probably should have picked them all up for a quarter. It would just been weird to have a bunch of Sean Cassidy LPs. Um, this will be another one that will be very interesting to crack into. A 70s pop star. Um, saving the best for last, just so you know. Aerobic dance hits. That's my next one. Well, um... It's got a bunch of pictures of women doing very suggestive, you know, leg spreading poses and whatnot. I mean, I guess it's kind of cool if, you know, you're like older, you know, you might be attracted to some of this, some of these ladies here. Um, it's kind of a, uh, it's kind, it's, I don't know if it's like, it's got a bunch of songs on it, you know, like, I don't know, I've just, like, I guess Jungle Boogie, I've heard of, I've heard, I guess that, heard some of those songs on like radio stations at fast food places before or like physical and waiting for a girl like you I don't know if they're like covers like goofy covers or uh, you know just um, like compilation stuff from like other albums um, which would be very interesting I don't know if it'll get me wanting to work out or anything um, anyways, aerobic dance hits. I don't know what to say about it. I guess it explains itself, you know, pictures of ladies in snazzy 70s, 80s workout clothes with perms. I totally don't know what I just said about that song. Sorry if you're like, when you're watching it. Anyways, I found this one. This is rated as probably one of the goofiest, uh, most hilariously bad album covers of all time on various, like, blogs, I guess, BuzzFeed, or some of those other type of sites like that have rated this one of the worst covers of all time. Um, like, hilarious bad. Um, and I found it. <laughs> probably several copies. Probably should have picked them all up for some reason. But anyways, let's go on to the final, final vinyl. <laughs> Everyone, um, of my strange slash cool final finds video. Ready? Orleans. Um, waking and dreaming. You know, are they naked? Are they not naked? You be the judge. There's more of it on the back where they where lead singer like stares into your soul. I'm gonna say that's the lead singer. I don't know. Um, this will be interesting to listen to too. I don't know if it's gonna be like rock, disco, or what. It was 1976. I'm gonna think it's disco. Like I said, I have did very minimal research. I've done very minimal research on these and uh, I hope I'm pleasantly surprised by some of them. You know, like, I don't hate music a lot, so all of these strange vinyls that you've been seeing are probably going to uh, make me, like, you know, chuckle or, you know, appreciate them in some way, shape, or form. Um, unless it's, like, I don't know, like, Creed or some crap, I'm not going to hate it. But, um, yeah. Well... There's probably a lot of stuff that I hate. I'm not going to get into that, but don't make it... I don't... Yeah, anyways. Strange Vinyl Finds, Orleans. Um, yeah, a lot of interesting song titles. Can't wait to check it out. I will probably buy some more vinyls and have another Strange Vinyl Finds video sometime in the future. I hope it comes soon because I like shopping for vinyl and finding this weird obscure vinyl like this from the 70s, 80s, into all, you know. 
See you later. Bye. I've rambled enough this video.